And so did you grow up thinking that because you were black, the world was against you, white people try to hold you back? Um, I think that there's like a lot of systematic oppression towards black people. But when you grew up, were you thinking that way? Um, I think based on like your experiences, you like observe and learn about like your existence and how like you're treated in America and things like that. No, but so, what I'm trying to find out why you were growing up, up, up north, you were getting a good education. You had both parents in the home. You had your little Mexican friends. Did you think, <laughs> did you think that you were black and, and the white people were oppressing you? Did you grow up with both parents? Yeah. And were they black or white? Black. Your father and mother are black? Yes. So you look half white. I'm a, my grandma's white. Your grandmother's white? Yeah. All the way white? Yeah, like Irish. So, so, but, and so your mother's what? Half, half Congolese, half Irish. She, oh. She mixed. Yeah. And I read in school that uh, the kids teach you about that? That about you were being, too light or something like that? No, no. Well, I mean, I grew up in a place where I was like the only black kid at my school. So basically people didn't like see black people outside of like, <laughs> I don't know, like magazines, like TV shows, like where they do stereotypical black people. So if they like I come up to them and I'm not like the stereotypical black person that they think they're supposed to see. And I'm the only like actual black person they met. Yeah. So they like confused because they think I'm supposed to be acting like that. But really not all black people act like that. So that's that's what that was about. They would tell you that you're not black enough. Yeah, or like think that I'm not, I don't act the way a black person's supposed to be acting. But there's no well, you like- you don't uh, act like a normal black person, you act intelligent. Uh, I think black people are intelligent in general. I don't think there's a normal like, I don't think it's a general standard that black people are unintelligent, right? Are you intelligent? Like, Don't tell anyone. <laughs> but yeah, I think like, you know, there's like intelligent and unintelligent people of every ethnicity. So to think black, all black people are supposed to act unintelligent is just kind of like a, like a little bit of a racist stereotype. So. But you do realize since your mother's half white, you lived in a white community. Mexican community. Mexican community. You do seem normal for a black person, right? You do realize that, all right? Normal, like? intelligent well-spoken you're not radical i'm not radical who's radical you like, know how black people are angry out of control angry out of control yeah like you, you want to be like them i mean i want to be like me yeah so i'm just how i am but i mean i definitely wouldn't say that like i think black people are unintelligent for being angry or radical because I think most black people deserve to be angry. In oh, you do? In America right now, yeah. Amazing, I already get into that a bit. Yeah. So how were you traumatized? How did that impact you when they were treating you that way? Um, I think generally, like when I did get to college, I thought like, I like believed that I wasn't like black enough or I didn't act how black people were supposed to act. So I was like probably nervous to like be around black people because I thought I wasn't like acting the way black people are supposed to act. Yeah. But once I did get around more black people, I realized that like, yeah, there is no, like everybody's different, you know, from person to person. So for the most part, when I was around black people, they accepted me for how I was. I accept them for how they were and we're just people. And so you're not afraid of them anymore? I was never afraid of black people, but I'm more like, I'm comfortable with who I am. And I know that other people are comfortable with who I am. So I can just be myself. Have you ever dated a black girl? Is it? I mean, I didn't grow up around black people, so I dated um, like Hispanic. Um, Habla español. No, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> so you dated Hispanic girls mm. and white girls? Yeah. Oh, okay, but no black girl. I haven't. I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't dated a black girl. No, what are you so happy? You don't like black women? Oh, uh, yeah, but they're rough. Are you a Christian? No. You're, what are you? I'm just a spiritual being. You're a what? I'm just a spiritual being. What does that mean? It means I believe in spirituality and like a higher power, but I'm not connected to a religion. So you're not a Christian? Yeah. And how do you know you're a spiritual being? Um, I believe that there's things more to life than we as humans understand. Like the power of the, of the universe and the power of um, 
like energies and like positive affirmations and things like that. Um, but I don't necessarily, I think to each his own. So if like you get comfort from Christianity and that makes you believe like that helps you get through life and gives you some understanding and peace about what life is. then I think by all means, like that's what you should believe. And then like if you're Buddhist or Hindu or anything else, you know, How about Satan, Satanist. I mean, I'm personally not Satanist. I think it's just to each his own. So like, I'm not, I'm not a Satanist and I don't really, I wouldn't want to mess with that. <laughs> and so, but like, that's right. If that's what somebody does, then like, I'm going to just let them do them, but I probably won't. You won't have lunch with them. Maybe not. <laughs> Before you went to USC, were you an angry black guy? Angry yeah. black guy? Yeah. Were I you mean, angry? I mean, I think emotions just come as they come. So, like, I wasn't, like, perpetually angry, but, like, when something happened to make me upset, then, yeah. Right. Your father and mother are together, right? Yes. And who you grew up closer to, your father or your mother? Both. To both, you were equally close to both, mm -hmm. and so did you grow up thinking that because you were black, the world was against you. White people try to hold you back. Um, I think that there's like a lot of systematic oppression towards black people. But when you grew up, were you thinking that way? Um, I think based on like your experiences, you like observe and learn about like your existence and how like you're treated in America and things like that. No, but so, what I'm trying to find out, why you were growing up, up, up north, you were getting a good education, you had both parents in the home, you had your little Mexican friends, did you think, <laughs> did you think that you were black and, and the white people were oppressing you? From my experiences, I wouldn't say all white people, but I would say that this country is systematically... No, I'm trying to find out why you were growing up. Were you thinking that way? I'm going to get to how you think now, but why you were growing up, did you... Were you growing up thinking that, oh, white people are oppressing me, I can't get education, I can't get food. Were you growing up thinking that? No, I mean, when you're a little kid, those things aren't in your mind, and they shouldn't really be, because those are like adult, like... Right. Problem. And so how about like, when you got in high school, did you start thinking that way? I didn't start thinking that way until I started experiencing those things. And where were you, <laughs> down here in, in LA or up there? I feel like you experienced those things from a real young age as a black person. Like, when was the first time somebody said something racist to you? <laughs> been, I never. It's been a year I was a baby. So what happened to you? When did you experience, you experienced one? An encounter? One? Uh, a racist encounter? Plenty. I mean, that's like almost inevitable so like you experience these things like throughout life as a black person and those are the things that like make you realize that there's like unwarranted hate towards black people so did you grow up thinking oh i'm experiencing racism right now while growing up were you thinking that no i don't think you understand it where did it's you confusing. start thinking that it was racism i think you recognize it once you learn more about like society I'm trying to find out when did you start thinking that that way probably like i don't know fifth grade sixth grade like start, middle school at that time you start thinking i'm a racist i mean i'm experiencing racism i mean yeah when i experienced it i started recognizing it for what it was i think i was always experiencing racism i just didn't know what it was well has racism racism held you back why did you put the air quotes? <laughs> <laughs> Has racism held you back? You you no. just graduated from USC, and has you finished high school? You have two parents in the home. They fed you. They took care of you. Mm -hmm. Has racism held you back at all? We haven't let it hold me back. Has it held you back? No, because I didn't let it. And what did you do to avoid it holding you back? Spoke up and didn't let it kind of affect my existence.